What's up, Cal Gang? Today we got a nice cross product problem on our hands. It wants us to find the area of a parallelogram formed by four points, basically, four vertices on the end, if you will. So we don't actually need to like visualize this at all. We just need to know some simple things. So when you cross uh, two vectors, you're gonna get a third vector, basically. But if you take the magnitude of the cross product, what it gives you is basically the area formed by that in the parallelogram form. So we, let me draw this out for you guys. So say you have a parallelogram that looks like this. And this is A and this is B. So if you take the magnitude of A cross with B, basically like, yeah, it's gonna give you the area. So what do we do? How do we use this information basically for this problem? Well, we don't have any vectors, so we have to make our own vectors. Now you can actually choose any point, which is pretty cool about this. You can choose any point and go out, but we just need two vectors. So I'm gonna start, how about we start at D, why not? So let's say D, C, crossed with, uh, oh, okay, you can't do, can't do all of them, is the thing, because you have to go out, you can't do the cross the product all the way across, you have to do the one that are either this way, you can't do like that vector. So let's see, so B is at like negative 3, 1, 3, 1, so I'm pretty sure that's the opposite of mercy. So we could probably do D, A. So let's do D, A. And we take the magnitude of that. All right, so let's find it. So what is DC? So DC is going to be equal to, so it goes from C to A, or C to C, D to C, so that's going to be uh, two, uh, three. And DA is going to be equal to uh, negative six, one, right? All right, so let's cross it. If you guys want to do a simpler version of this, just do A, B, and A, C. It's a lot simpler, but this is fun. Okay, so our matrix C is going to look like I, J, K. You don't even need to do this whole thing. I'm just doing it because I think it's fun. Uh, so our I value is 2, 3, 0, negative 6, 1, 0, right? So what's this going to give you? That's going to give you 0 because this is 0, this is 0. This is zero, this is zero. But then it's gonna give you, on the last one, it's gonna give you two minus, oh yeah, two minus negative 18. So that's just gonna be equal to zero, zero, 20. Now, if you can look at this instantly and you can say, oh, okay, well, so it doesn't move it all across the X, doesn't move it all across the Y, and it's 20 across the Z, what's the magnitude of it gonna be? It's gonna be 20. So the magnitude is 20. Uh, yeah, that's the answer to your problem. You can solve this a lot of ways. You can do, you can do BC cross with BA. You can do BC. You can do AB cross with AC. You can do any of this stuff, right? So uh, it's up to you how you want to solve it. You can do it any way possible. There's probably like a lot of permutations of solving this, but yeah, it's a pretty simple problem. And uh, good luck on your calc homework.